get uh, Melbourne a little bit down on their luck at the moment. How are you feeling ahead of Clash? Oh, I'm really looking forward to the to the Clash. Um, get away back to the MCG again. So, um, obviously, where you want to be playing um, footy. Um, you can't really take any team lightly this year, though. Um, you've seen the results throughout the year. So um, Melbourne's last three or four games have been really good. So we need to be on our on our at our best, like we have the last three weeks as well. And um, yeah, we're just look, really looking forward to the challenge. You're keeping an eye on the changes for their defensive lineup with Lever and May. Yeah, we spoke about that. Obviously, two quality players coming in, and um, so they're they're pretty good back there. Like the whole team's pretty good. So, like I said, we're going to have to be on our best, um, like we have the last three weeks, and. Uh, it's going to be a great challenge, but we're really looking forward to it. How are you feeling personally? Everyone's noted a uh, good spate of form for yourself. Yeah, I've, I've been pretty happy with the way I've been going, but I've um, just been taking it week by week. Um, obviously, a new challenge this week. Um, like you said, quality defence. So we're um, really going to have to work together. Hopefully, we can get um, a, a lot of entries and, uh, and the forward can, forwards can play well. How's, how's the um, dynamics up forward change with some big boys going down, especially Tavana? I imagine that changes things a fair bit. Yeah, it has been hard, uh, probably more for Jesse, um, but we've had players come straight in and that's uh, the best thing about um, the team. Whoever comes in just plays their role and we've shown that the last two weeks with tabs out that um, boys have come in and played and like Michael Walters going forward and uh, kicking a few. So we've, um, we have covered it, but yeah, it's obviously sad that we don't have him out there. So with less marking targets, is there a bigger role for Smalls to play? Uh, not really. Um, we just, like we've, we've said... Um, well, each week, whoever's the, the contest is, we just need to bring it to ground, which gives us, us balls, uh, a chance to score. But, um, yeah, that, that's the, the main main thing, is bring it to ground. So you look to be getting on the lead a fair bit. Is that not happening more? You're not being hit up a little bit more, rather than sort of crumbing, for example? Um, no, it's just the way we move the ball, I think, going forward. Um, we've been, it's been a lot, of, lot more space, so it's been uh, yeah, space to tick up in. Um, but then again, if there is a contest, it's getting to the front. Jesse Hogan and uh, Brennan Cox. Have you got any room to try and fit Hayden Ballantyne and Harley Bennell in at some stage? I hope so. Uh, I love playing with them. That's the best thing it's at the moment. It's hard to get into the team. Um, but yeah, those two are obviously quality players. So um, if they get their chance, I'm sure, yeah, we're good. Have you spoke about prep with your uncles in the preseason and them having a strong word, word to you? What's been their update now after you're having some career best form? Uh, he's just keep keep going, keep enjoying your footy. Um, that's all I've been doing is going out there and having fun and uh, playing playing my role for the team. And I've obviously been going all right, so yeah, he just, said just keep it up. How much fitter do you feel out there? Because it seems like you're covering a lot more ground. And how much more ground does it feel like you're covering? Um, I think I'm actually covering less ground uh, from last year, but it's just more probably like quicker, um, more speed, which is uh, what I've worked on over the summer and. Uh, yeah, obviously being fit, having a full pre-season definitely helps um, to get through the season. The uh, prospects playing finals at Gold Coast are probably a bit further away from than you are now, but there is a real, real chance this year. Is that, um, is that even more satisfying for yourself, making the jump to come back to the WA? Oh, I don't think that. It was probably just a like, different opportunity to come home, um, new environment, but um, the way we've been playing, it's been a huge summer. We we're pretty, um, pretty confident going into round one, and... Uh, we're just really enjoying our footy at the moment and we're, uh, we're in a good spot um, halfway through the season but there's obviously a lot of footy to go so um, we're just taking it week by week and playing consistent footy. Ross Lyon's been pretty reluctant to talk up Sean Darcy's performance last week. What do you think of the big fella? I thought it was pretty big. Um, he's my housemate as well so yeah, it, was a, it was a big job for him last week having the two two ruckmen but uh, I thought he yeah, played exceptional um, especially the last quarter when the, the game was in the balance and uh, he really stood up for us in the middle. So how's he handling the week knowing Max Gorn's his opponent? Uh, he's looking forward to it. Uh, like he said the other day, he's probably the best ruckman, him and Grundy, in the AFL at the moment. So you can't wait to um, get up against him. That's the best thing, playing against uh, the better players and you learn so much more off him. So you can't wait to get out there. How did, uh, how did you see Sean Cope during the first half of the season when he was out of the team for a fair while? Uh, he, he was good. He was um, obviously disappointed. Injuries are... Uh, uh, aren't fun, so he was in rehab quite a bit. But uh, he, uh, he, yeah, he was at home doing all the right stuff, and uh, he's de definitely got him, got him back to where he is now, and he's uh, obviously enjoying it being back out there. Good news on the injury front, Rory Lobb not too far away now. What's it like knowing um, he's come, coming back uh, before finals? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Um, obviously, he's been a big, big player for us in the um, first half of the year. So to get the news that he is not a season-ending injury is um, is a great result for us and. 
yeah, we obviously can't wait to get him back in the team. And Jesse Hogan, obviously back in the side. And has he mentioned anything about playing his former side uh, in Melbourne and what that brings? <laughs> Uh, no, not really. He's obviously just enjoying his footy at the moment. I think uh, he, he does like getting back to Melbourne and playing. Um, I know that last time we're at the MCG, he said it was his, it's one of his favourite grounds. So uh, he's definitely looking forward to the weekend. Um, I'm not, I haven't not really spoke to him about his former side, but I'd say there would be a bit of nerves there. But uh, yeah, he'd be looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah I thought he was pretty easy. Yeah. Helicopter Melbourne spies. Broken the budget this week. All good. That, that question again. Yeah, what was it? Oh, sorry, I forgot to. I'm sorry. this question. All right, sweet. Um, uh, how, how did you rate his game of the week? Was that the best you think you've seen him play so far? So? Yeah, I reckon it probably is. He's, um, I think he's worked pretty hard. Um, in every game he's played, but um, he obviously got a bit, bit more of the ball and he um, finished his shots. But I think it's the way we've been playing the last three or four weeks, the way we've gelled to get up down in the forward line. Um, and he's been an option. He's probably had two on two on one most of the, um, since tabernacle has gone down. But I think yeah, the way he presented himself last week, come at the footy, took his contested marks, and then finished his work. Um, I, I probably would say it's his best uh, best game, and hopefully he can continue that for the back half of the year. Uh, coming to Freo, how many are you having? Does it feel like you've saved your career? Uh, uh, yeah, probably could say that. It is probably my best year so far. Um, yeah, but like, like I said, I was pretty disappointed the way I played last year and uh, I had a massive off season. I uh, worked really hard over the pre-season watching Hayden Ballantyne and uh, Michael Walters go about it and uh, pretty much just tried to do the same as them. And then yeah, just having that extra fitness um, going into this year and probably the the tools up front we have this year as well has helped quite a bit bring the ball down to, down to the front um, where last year we sort of probably lacked that that tall with um, Cam McCarthy and Coxie playing as tall um, tall forwards so this year is definitely better but um, yeah we just could continue it's obviously halfway through the year so still got a lot of footy to go. And uh, the Premier Mark McGowan has uh, called for State of Origin to return what do you think about that? To Perth? I reckon it's pretty awesome. Um, obviously, coming from Gold Coast, it's a massive, uh, massive month where they um, they really get into it, and I really enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be definitely watching. So, um, I hope it does come again. So, I should clarify what state of origin Aussie rules to return. Oh, state of origin! I thought we were talking about the NRL there. Yeah, uh, oh, that'd be that'd be pretty good fun. Um, I don't know how long it has it been for a while, but um, I reckon most of the players would love to love to that play. That's Hopefully WA. <laughs> As a player, do you get uh, any idea on when um, a time of the season would work for a state of origin coach? Yeah, it would be hard. Um, it's probably hard in the pre-season, but I don't know how they'll, they'll have to come up with that. Maybe during the bye in the middle of the year, but then again, the clubs are, are hard to let players get out there and play, but I'd, I'd love to play in one if I got, ever got the chance. If you got the chance, what do you think about the sort of forward line you might be uh, shaping up with? Yeah, it'd be pretty awesome to play against uh, Buddy Franklin in the forward line. So, uh, pun? Play with. Play with, yeah, yeah. So, that'd be pretty cool.